Balance changes are coming to Clash of Clans. These might be some of the most significant changes we have seen in a very long time. The changes affect all town hall levels and are centered around hero equipment. But before we get into the hero equipment changes, there are a couple other important changes that are also coming. First off, siege machine donations. Siege machines will now be limited at whatever siege machines are unlocked two town halls above yours. For example, Town Hall 12 unlocks the Wall Wrecker, Battle Blimp, and Stone Slammer. This means a Town Hall 10 will now only be able to request those three. At Town Hall 11, we will be losing the Flame Flinger, and the higher town halls above that remain unchanged. In addition, the maximum level siege machines you'll be able to request has been lowered. This affects Town Halls 10 through 14. In the next update, once you unlock being able to use a certain siege machine, machine, it will begin at level 2. It will then increase by one level at each of the following Town Hall levels. Now moving on to the troop and spell changes. The biggest change here is the Overgrowth spell. It will have its radius reduced at all levels by one full tile, and it will have its duration slightly reduced at levels 2 through 4. Valkyries will have their HP reduced at max level, which is quite significant. The Druids will also be getting a pretty significant nerf, having their bounce count reduced from 4 to 3. And rounding out the troop changes, the level 12 Super Barbarian will have its damage reduced. Now for the hero equipment. There are both nerfs and buffs across most of the equipment in the game. For the equipment receiving a buff, we have the Earthquake Boots, the Barbarian Puppet, the Archer Puppet, the Life Gem, and the Rocket Spear. The nerfs, the Giant Gauntlet, the Spiky Ball, the Frozen Arrow, the Eternal Tome, Healing Tome, Rage Gem, Haste File, and the Hog Rider Puppet. Let's take a deep dive into the changes. Let me know in the comments what equipment changes you'll be making after seeing what's being changed. There are so many changes across the board, I won't bore you to death reading them all out. Instead, I'll bring up each equipment on screen and what changes it will be receiving. Feel free to pause and come back to anything you may be interested in. I'll leave you guys with the changes now and see you on the other side. So clearly, the changes, especially to hero equipment, are substantial. More so on some equipment than others. Overall, I think this is a positive step for the game as it's long overdue. Hopefully, this brings the meta and balance back to the game. If you've made it this far into the video, I truly do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon.